All right, so now that I have these three pages, uh, if I want to, I can go over here my properties, uh, just to double check that I have um, my eight and a half by 11 inch pages. I have three of them, like just saying right here. Um, the margins here, uh, it's just a, I left it at the default. So if I zoom in here, these are just additional guides if you want them. If you you can also adjust them if you want to make them smaller, or if you want to completely get rid of them, just go all the way to zero. Uh, and again, they'll just get rid of them. They're just again just safety, just guidelines. Uh, I'm just gonna put them back at, at 0.5. And just so that we can have something to actually see on the screen, I'm going to um, come over here into the rectangle tool and I'm gonna make a rectangle, give it a different color with the fill. I'm gonna put a rectangle, a different colored rec rectangle on each one. And just do one last one. All right, so I'm gonna. Um, the one of the nice things about setting this up in in design and having your separate pages, um, you can always rearrange your pages. So, say for example, if you're putting something together and you got your your pages uh, out of order. You can always come over here to your, your Pages tab and say, for example, I'm going to click and drag number three. I'm going to click and drag it above to, to the left of number one. And now I'm able to rearrange the page order. Or again, I can click three and click to the left of two. And again, the one thing just to pay attention to is you'll see this little like line symbol that pops up. And that way you know you're actually switching switching things around. So again, it's really nice to be able to reorder your pages um, uh, within um, InDesign. Um, so now the one thing that I want though is I have this I have this this page this layout, but it's it's great for uh, a multiple page portfolio. Uh, but just say, for example, you just want to have like the the two pages that we're we're doing, or you want to have this set up for uh, a presentation that you have that you're going to pin up for um, uh, for your design studio. And I don't necessarily want to have this one single page that's just off here to the side. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on one of the pages. It doesn't matter which one, as long as you're as long as it's not off to the, off to the below the pages, just right click on any one of the pages, and right here where it says allow document pages to shuffle, I'm gonna uncheck that. And now what I'm able to do is I'm gonna drag one, I'm gonna drag it next to three, but I want to pay attention to the little symbol that I'm seeing. So right here, if I only see that straight line, it's gonna rearrange things, but it didn't rearrange them the way that I wanted. So I'm gonna drag three again, and what I'm looking for, the symbol that I'm looking for, is that little bracket symbol. And it doesn't show up there, there it is. There's that bracket symbol that I'm looking for. So I wanna make sure I see the bracket symbol, and then let go. And then what that allows me to do is that to have multiple pages on one, uh, single artboard. All right, so now I have three eight and a half by 11s that are all right next to each other. And for this, I only really need two, so I'm going to select one of the three and just delete them. So now I have the two pages right next to each other, without the that third um, that third page as if like if, as, as if it's an, uh, an actual book. Uh, if you needed that, that's great. Uh, for this pur purpose, I'm just going to leave it as at the two.